Welcome to another episode of the Love, Love and Eat show. Now our special guest today is Mayan and Gal. Now they are sisters and they are also the founders of Smoothie Tiff and they are expat experts. Actually they are fourth generation experts. So change is a natural part of their lives and today they are guiding and supporting women to experience a smooth and joyful journey abroad no matter where you live. Welcome to our show. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. It's such a pleasure to have you today and you're doing such amazing work. But before we get into that, um, tell us a little bit about yourselves. How did you get started in your career? And, you know, we all have a story. So can you tell us your story? Uh, so I'm Gal and together with my sister, Mayan, we started Smoothative about a year and a half ago. Uh, before that, uh, during COVID, we had two different businesses. Uh, and uh, Mayan was a graphic designer. She had a graphic studio for over 10 years. I used to work in advertising and marketing. I had my own business and COVID completely shut down our businesses. And um, about and, th and we always wanted to work together. That's the thing. Like we always, we are in a great relationship uh, as sisters for years now. And we always wanted to do something together. And we looked at this crazy challenge of COVID and we said to ourselves, like, what is this one thing we really can do um, together? And we really know. And funny enough, like at the beginning, we tried different things and it's it, it came together very naturally. Uh, we each relocated once again. Uh, two, three years ago, we were both living in Israel. And uh, now we are both living in France. We But we moved separately. I, I moved two and a half years ago. My aunt joined uh, friends a year and a half ago. And that's when things started to click. We were like, what do we know best? We know how to relocate because we've done it since uh, we were little kids. Uh, we relocated each over 10 times. And uh, we, what do we know best is I'm coming from positive psychology and my aunt has an amazing background in yoga philosophy and mindfulness. And... We, we we embrace change. We think it's beautiful part of it, but we know it comes with a lot of challenges. And when we started taking all of those information together, um, that's where Smoothative came up. And we're like, yeah, this is what we want to do. We want to help women from all over the world experience a better journey abroad. And we know it's it comes with a lot of challenges. We've dealt with it before. We're still dealing with it today. And... That's what we wanted to help those women enjoy their life more, despite all the challenges. I love that. I mean, you're doing such amazing, amazing work. I wish I knew you guys when I uh, moved from South Africa abroad, to, you know, to the United States. And I think you would have made it so much smoother, you know, the transition um, coming from another country and, you know, the culture are different. Um, and, you know, I, I faced a lot of challenges myself, um, you know, just moving abroad. Um, and, you know, it, it is a challenge. It's a big challenge. It's a big change as well. Um, so can you talk and tell us listeners about, you know, like, um, what is the challenges that most women face, you know, when they move abroad uh, to another country? Well, so there are a lot of challenges. And I think one of the most important thing is to understand that challenges are part of this move abroad, but it doesn't have to be a constant struggle or a super stressful uh, situation all the time. We need to understand that challenges are there, but what we do is we teach them how to approach those challenges in a better way, in a, in a way that actually serves them. And challenges are very personal, you know, for one, uh, finding a job is very challenging. For another, finding new friends is more challenging. One will have challenges, you know, with bureaucracy and all of this and another with the language. And actually, we discovered that a lot of the challenges that we have as expats or immigrants 
are actually the same challenges that we had before. It's the same challenges, things that were hard for us are now even harder. So it's basically the same, but bigger. And it's more scarier. And because, you know, sometimes people that are really friendly at home, when they move around, this is not what is scary for them to find new friends. But they'll struggle with finding a job because they had struggled with this at home as well. So it's really, really personal. And we need to understand, we need to know what is it that really stresses us and challenges us. And then we can, you know, fix this. Yes, I agree with that. Um, you know, it's it's hard. And like you say, it's a lot of challenges, you know. Um, and it's just like, where do you start? And when you move abroad, you feel so alone. And, you know, um, many people say make new friends, you know, or see if you can find somebody that's also from the same country as you but it's you know it's not so easy to do that you know what i mean um because like everybody has their own journey everybody has their own challenges when they move abroad or to other country um so what would you say to a to a parent you know who's afraid to move with their kids and you know bring them up because I was in the same boat. I had three little small children and it was hard on them as well. Yeah, absolutely. It is hard when, so we know this from two perspectives. We moved as kids as well. Uh, so we know how it is to move as kids. And honestly, it has the challenges, like like we said before, but it was also an amazing experience and this is what we say you know if it's if those challenges are handled in the right way then a, an amazing opportunity can happen from this yeah but it has to be handled in a certain way and if a parent brings their own stress to the move like i'm super stressful and this is what the kids see as well and this is what they'll experience and now, from my experience as a mother, I moved with two small daughter, my two small daughters a year and a half ago. They really adjust much quicker than I saw. <laughs> I was really worried. How will they learn French and how will they integrate at school and how will they make new friends? And they did that much quicker than I gave them the credit for. <laughs> But but I think, and, and that's what Mayan said a minute ago, I think the, the most important aspect of it is how you as a mom presented the move to the kids. Because if you look at it only as a challenge and obstacles and a hard thing, that's what the kids will, will understand from it. And for us as kids, true, there were challenges, but our parents always presented it to us as an adventure as something okay like they never use the like at least I don't remember them using it in front of us oh this is hard like it was not what was told we were told about it it was different it was change it was adventurous it was an opportunity and I gotta tell you um we look at it today as one of the biggest and the most amazing gifts our parents ever gave us because it opened our mind to cultures and languages and lifestyles and nature and possibilities that we we couldn't had without it and i definitely think that we are doing what we're doing today because we are experts since forever but because our parents our father was an expert since a young age as well and as you said in the beginning we are fourth generation experts our grandparents moved as well so it's something that is our, in our DNA, but it's mainly about how we approached it that made the difference for us. I agree with that. Um, and I agree also with, you know, when you make it hard for the children, you know, th that's going to be, you know, that's not going to be good to them as well. Um, you know, especially when you move abroad, 
um, you know, the language, um, just my own experience. Um, my uh, youngest, he was five years old. And um, obviously we used to speak English and Afrikaans in our home country. Um, and he actually, he talks like he has the American accent today. So you won't say that he's from our country, you know, um, but yeah. And, and, you know, we made it easy for them as well. And they thought, oh, we're on holiday. It's like a vacation. You know what I mean? And I think that is the most important thing as well. Now, um, you're talking a lot on your platforms about adding fun to everyday life. Um, so why is it important in your opinion? Well, you know, that's our little thing, you know, and we are big believers in life is about living it to the fullest. It's not about, you know, just staying alive, surviving, struggling. It's not about that. This is our belief. This is, you know, how we grew up. Um, and adding the fun is a way of being alive and fun doesn't have to be, you know, party all day. But it's about finding joy in the things that you do, in those daily things, simple situations. It's not about, you know, having balloons and clowns all over. It's really about finding the thing that makes you feel good and have, you know, this excitement. And a move abroad is really an opportunity for bringing this excitement and we think it's really important <laughs> yeah that's really it's it's something that um we couldn't use this, those words like bringing the fun a couple of years ago but it's something we've been doing for so long um and it's 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 our secret ingredient it's the thing that we know the challenges are there the situation is given some days are just off and it's okay but whenever we can we try to consciously bring in something that will make it more fun and joyful for us. Because if we take an example of relocation, le learning a new language, packing your things, actually saying goodbyes to your friend, meeting new friends, finding a career, all of those things can be very emotional and a lot of like roller coaster. But if we, if we find ways that we, and we know ourselves best, if we can find ways that we made this more joyful to ourselves, a little bit like a game, a little bit like uh, something that is fun, then then it, it, do it doesn't have to be that hard. Yeah, I agree with that. It's just, it's hard, you know, um, it's hard to move abroad and you, you don't know where you're going. You know where you're going, but it's just hard because you, you don't know, you know, you don't know any people, mm -hmm. you don't, I, I, it's hard, you know, and, and I'm, it's nice to bring fun into that as well. You know, if I think back now, you know, we had some fun times as well, you know, do stuff and go out and see new things, meet new people, um, the food, you know, from uh, the food's not the same as your home country. And it's just so excited, you know, just it, it's a good adventure, you know, to go on, um, you know, and yeah. So what is your belief? Um, like the most important thing to do before moving abroad? You know, somebody that's listening today and they are moving abroad, what is the most important thing they can do before, you know, to get their mindset ready and know, okay, we I'm moving abroad now? So that's the preparation that we talk about, you know, because... If you Google, what do I need to do before I move abroad, then you'll get a huge checklist, stressing checklist, overwhelming checklist of visa, apartment, job, uh, all those kind of things. And this is really stressful and it is important. We don't say it's not important, but what we believe the preparation you need to do is on yourself, on who you are when you are going to apply for a visa, find a job, <laughs> find an apartment, all of those so, and we always say the first thing you need to do when you're preparing yourself is ask yourself, why are you moving abroad? What is the real reason behind this crazy move and this crazy step that you're going to do? Because 
we hear so many times, I'm moving for my husband, I'm moving for a job, I'm moving for my mother. Like, and we say, okay, that's nice, but why are you moving? What's your reason? It has to be yours. And that's a really, really key important uh, preparation and better to do that before you move to know why you're doing this than after but you can realize that after as well uh, and it, this is really helpful you know if if you have a clear reason to change all those things in your life then you can handle all those challenges better I and you'd be surprised how many people don't know why they're moving for real Yes, yes, I can imagine. Yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 I love the mindset, the mindset, um, because you know your mind has to be ready to take that on. Um, you know, and if I think back, um, about myself when I moved, my mindset was not at a good place. You know, it all happened very fast. Um. And I think, you know, if I knew you guys, I would have like make it a little bit more smoother for me to, you know, to move abroad. Um, and I think there's many people, many women out there listening to this podcast and think, oh my gosh, you know, um, I'm moving. I can use you, your tools and, you know, make it so smooth to like just move abroad. So my question for you will be what free tips will you give to someone who moves abroad, you know, just to make it easier? And I know we talked about mindset. <laughs> so, so I will go and jump on what Mayan just said. The first thing is really know why you are moving abroad. And the reason why we can't emphasize it enough is that when things are going to get hard, and that's what it's important for us to say, things will get hard. Things will get challenging. There will be moments where you're sitting on the airplane, on your new sofa, in your new apartment, and wondering, why the hell have I done it to myself? You need to have a damn good reason in your in your head already. So the first tip will, will be is know really, really why you're doing this so that whenever you question yourself, well, you'll have an answer for yourself. So that would be our number one tip for that. Yeah. The second one I would say is use what we get, use what you got. So many of us think we need to have new skills. Like I, I'm, I can't do this. I don't have the capabilities to deal with a move abroad. Yes, you do. Use what you got. You've dealt in your life with other situation, other challenges. What have you done then? Then that you can use right now. You have in your toolbox amazing skills, amazing capabilities, amazing qualities. Use them. Be yourself and use them. And, and and the last tip that I would add is surrounding yourself with the right people. Um, it's not necessarily the one we think of the first, but we need to think about those people who are actually going to empower us to do this move and not make us question it. And it's not coming from a negative people around us. Usually those who love us the most are not necessarily giving us the best advice because they want us to stay closer and they want us to not leave and stuff like that. So choose wisely who you're talking to that is actually lifting your confidence, making you feel good about your choices. And even like even if they challenge you a bit, so you know, again, why you're doing what you're doing, it's okay. But minimize the amount of people that are actually bringing you down and making you question yourself and doubt your every step. And I, I'll add a I, bonus, a tip, another third and a half. Uh, bring the fun, yeah. make it fun, you know, and it's about the small things, you know, put some music on when you're packing, dance a little bit, you know, it's those little things, really small, but bring the joy. I just love that. And you know what? I just love like the last one um, that you said about surround yourself with people, you know, positive people. Um, and that is so true because I 
and I'm going back to myself, you know, I just want to talk about it a little bit. When uh, we moved abroad, I uh, met this group of women and they were not supportive um, because they were also expats that came over abroad and they had very negative experiences um, moving abroad and that just made it harder on me as well so I love that I just have to like put it out in there and like surround yourself with positive people and that is so important so before we end this podcast um, I know that you have a, a online course it's called move abroad with ease the expat women blueprint can you tell us our listeners a little bit about that so Boober Brother with this is exactly everything we talked about on this podcast today. It's your online course. So it's a self-paced course that you do on your own time because we don't want to overwhelm you even more before you move abroad. But it's really designed to help you prepare yourself for this move on. And we talk about yourself, your real self, and not only and not the logistics. And to make sure you don't let the stress take control of your move because it's very easily going there. So we're here to make sure you build your confidence, that you know your real reason. We help you find your real reason for your move. Uh, we help you understand what is important. What are the things within yourself that you can tap into and use so you make this move a smooth and joyful one for yourself and your family and your partner, whoever you are going with but mainly you as a person, uh, as a woman. So you feel good about yourself. So you feel confident about, about yourself and you don't second guess every step of your way. So that's our online course. I love that. I will link that all um, under the podcast. Uh, also social media, if you want to learn more about Mayan and Gal, um, I will leave the social media under there and their website and you can go and read all about them and join their course. Um, and I know you have a membership as well. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah, so our membership is La Plus. And it's actually the place for women that are living abroad. There are women there from all over the world. And what we do is we meet once a week on an online uh, session and we talk about a different topic. And it's a safe place where there is no judgment, where we all understand each other because we're actually dealing with the same situation and the same challenges and we lift each other up and you know it's like having a great group of friends that understands you and support you and it's like we love those sessions it's such an amazing uh hour every week and it's for all women living abroad I just love that. And it was such a pleasure to have you here today. You are doing amazing work out there and keep your light shining. And thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us and having us uh, to give us this opportunity to share our story and what we're doing. And we love your magazine and we love your podcast. So thank you. Thank you so you. much.